What's good? It's your brother YK The Truth. I know it's been a while, but I'm back with another video. DNA collected from a slave skeletons interred in unmarked 18th century burial ground reveals their history. Who are these people? Are they American Indians? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember wearing one of these. Yeah, that's right. I can make it rain. Hi, 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 Or are they West African or people from Africa? Okay. Are the people that were slaves in the 18th century were they, according to DNA, Africans? Or were they Native Americans? You see, this is why a lot of these pretendians have to, to deny DNA. Individuals are using genetic ancestry testing and in innovative ways to force a conversation about um, race and racial reconciliation in this country. African Americans come to the to genetics um, through the history of eugenics, through a history of pseudoscience and scientific racism that used human variation and biological differences as a justification for social and political inequality. That on the one hand is something that would make African Americans skeptical or distrustful of genetics and genetic testing. On the other hand, one of the after effects of the transatlantic slave trade was the loss of knowledge about families and about origins in ancestry. So the broad appeal for, uh, of genetic ancestry testing among Af African Americans is that it's one of the few ways that these questions can be answered about the past. I used genetic ancestry testing and um, was inferred to be related to the Bamaleke people of Cameroon using mitochondrial DNA testing. So on the one hand, you had my very measured father who um, barely looked up from his newspaper when I was sitting at the kitchen table telling him this news and sort of took a cup of coffee and said, oh, that's interesting. On the other hand, you have my mother who was effervescent and exuberant and couldn't believe her good fortune to have had this uh, news come into our family. And since this time has started relationships with various members of their local community in Virginia who are immigrants from Cameroon. In particular, she's become very close with one family um, and invited them to the last Thanksgiving at our home. How these tests operate in the social world is far more complicated than we get from uh, television ads. What I was able to follow is uh, the years after that initial information is received by someone who's interested in their ancestry and where those social lives go um, is widely varied. These tests, I think at their best, allow new forms of connection that might not have otherwise been possible. So it says, a team of researchers affiliated with several institutions in the U.S. working with members of the Anson Street African Burial Ground Project have discovered some of the history behind some of the enslaved people buried in 18th century Charleston, South Carolina, home to one of the busiest slave ports in American history, okay? In their published paper published in the Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences, the group describes how they collected tissue samples from as many of the skeletons in the cemetery as possible and what analysis of their DNA revealed about their history. Started in the 1500s as part of a larger slave trade, white Europeans brought black people living in Africa by force to work as slaves in the colonial America. They continued to do so <clears throat> for the following 300 years. Many of those slaves began their life in America in Charleston, South Carolina. Approximately half of all such slaves arrived at the port there and were summarily sold. In this new effort, the researchers conducted a DNA analysis 
of skeletons of slaves who had been buried in an unmarked burial ground during the 18th century near the heart of the city. The cemetery was discovered back in 2013. And since that time, efforts have been made to identify those who were buried there. In all, 36 skeletons were found in the cemetery, but only 18 had tissue samples suitable for use in a genetic study. Prior work on the project showed that all the people in the cemetery had been placed in coffins prior to burial and that most had artifacts in the coffin with them, such as pipes, beads, or even coins, all right? In looking at the DNA, the researchers found that all but one of the slaves had come directly from Africa. Hold up, let me repeat that. Had come directly from Africa or ha had ancestors that had. All but one. They also found that slave ancestry was not confined to the west coast of Africa. Some of the slaves had been taken from parts of sub-Saharan areas. The team found that the, that 13 of them had been born in where? West Africa. Did it say America? Did it say they was already here? No. The rest likely in the U.S. The researchers also found that none of the people buried in the cemetery were related to any other, a sign that suggests family members were separated upon arrival. That goes with the history. So every time y'all ask stupid questions like, show me your ancestors from this and that, we was, our ancestors were put all over the place from Af when they came on them boats. So why are you asking these idiotic questions? If you are labeled black Negro, you are from Africa. You have African ancestry. So every time you get on these platforms and you have these pretendians ask you questions like, show me your ancestors and your genealogy that comes from Africa, when you know they wasn't even classifying them as Africans. It was colored, slave, all of that. You get what I'm saying? It was none of that because at the end of the day, what most of these pretendians fail to realize is that they did not want us to hold on to who we were like an African. You couldn't practice your African religion. You had to become a Christian. They wanted to turn you into, it's basically Europeanize you. Take your name, everything. So if, right? So why would I call, why would I put you as an African when I don't even want you to think about Africa? When I want you to think of that America is the only place you know and that your history is all about being slaves. This is why they don't put African. So stop asking us, well, show us where it says, show us that African ancestry when our family members were separated upon arrival. We are scattered all over. The researchers also found that one person in the cemetery had Native American maternal lineage, which suggests, highlights the multi-generational aspect of the American slave trade, meaning we were, we intermingled with Native people. This is an easy body bag. And this is why pretendians have to deny DNA. 
oh, I can't, man, that stuff is for entertainment purposes only. They take one British uh, person or somebody that's not even qualified in genetics, and now they want to say that DNA is for entertainment purposes only. But when you ask them to show us who said that, they don't want to, they can't say it. When Dr. Hank Greeley, I reached out to Dr. Hank Greeley and he said that DNA is real. You can trace your tribes. I buried them with that 60 minutes clip. So they took a major L with that one. DNA collected from the slave skeletons revealed that they were from Africa. So all of y'all saying that it was told in reverse. This whole shit was told in reverse. Okay, where they say, oh, we came from Africa over here. No, a lot of us was already here, already here, and then brought over here. And then some, and brought over to Africa. And motherfuckers, and then some of them was brought over here. Stop the cat. Dang, stop the cat. Top cat, stop the cat. Your new name is Top Caps. The legendary Top Caps. Because all you do is cap. I asked you to show your genealogy. You couldn't. Top Caps. Phoenix. Goon. Because who you name them. You name them. Cootie Mayo. Coach of Vulture. Well, I came back, man. Just give me some time. I got videos. I'm coming back, yo. It's your brother, YK The Truth, and I'm out. Peace.